Hey y'all, good morning Keto Fam. My name is Amber. If you're new to my channel, I do a keto lifestyle on a budget to lose weight. Um, today is Thursday in Louisiana and it is muggy because it rained last night and just kind of overall yucky looking outside. So, um, I had my keto coffee this morning. I've been putting my collagen powder that has MCT oil in it. I use the Bean Envy kind right now, but I'm getting low, so I'm about to go on Amazon and see whose collagen is on sale, because that's, let's face it, I'm on a budget, and so what the heck ever is on sale that has good reviews, and I've, uh, I've seen other keto, uh, other keto people eat drink. Mm. So apparently I need my coffee this morning, y'all. <laughs> um, so whatever's on sale that, you know, I feel like I've seen before or has good reviews, then that's the collagen I get for the time. So um, I'm about to go, I have to go on and look for that. But yeah, I put that in there. I put a splash of heavy whipping cream and some skinny vanilla syrup in it. So that's coffee this morning. Today is my birthday lunch at work. My birthday's not till next week, but my boss wanted to celebrate it six days early instead of one day late. I don't know, but you know, I'm a Leo, and so we believe with, that we should celebrate our birthday the whole daggum month, is what my husband says. Even though I don't feel like I've done that this year, um, now that we eat keto, you know, I do not indulge quite as much as I used to. I do have to admit that last night after I uploaded my video, I was just feeling just kind of down and bleh, and you know... I'm a girl, so I have that time of the month, and I decided to go eat some of the Kroger brand Halo Top. They make one called Low Cow or something like that, and it's, I wouldn't really call it keto because it's higher in protein, lower in fat, but still has a little bit of carbs in it. I think it had six net carbs for a half a cup in it, but they had a birthday cake flavor, and I guess last night I was filling my birthday, y'all, because I went to the freezer and I was like, oh, do I have to? But then I was like, yes, yes, you totally deserve that ice cream, sister. You go ahead and get it out and you eat it. And I did, and I didn't feel guilty about it because I had not eaten that many carbs today and so, or last night, yesterday, whatever day. Yeah, name my coffee off. Um, so didn't feel guilty about it. It was delicious. It's in the past. And it was low carb enough for me, or lazy keto, or dirty keto, or whichever one you want to call it. But it was good, and it fit my macros. I was still less than 20 grams of carbs, and that's all that matters, y'all. Well, I will see y'all at lunch to show y'all whatever my boss got think he's catering salad because all my co-workers know I'm on keto. Like, this is not a shock. This is not a surprise. Been doing this six months now. They know what's up. So, hopefully. But I'm, I'm guessing there's not going to be any dessert. Oh, my co-worker always makes this amazing banana pudding. And in no shape form, fashion, is that stuff keto, so I'm betting I'm not getting a dessert, which is totally okay with me, I will probably come home after my daughter's meeting, I hate back to school time, but I gotta go for my first grade parent meeting tonight, oh, it's so sad, I can't believe she's going in first grade, but, um, so, I'll probably eat some ice cream when I get home after the meeting, because that's just how your girl's feeling for a couple days now. And then we got to pack up. We go, we leave and go to New Orleans tomorrow 
for her hearing appointment. So, um, this girl's got to pack up some keto snacks because we're going to keep it keto. I'll see y'all at lunch. So lunch was a giant salad from a Mexican restaurant. It had grilled, well, fajita chicken and eggs on it. It was amazing. I had it with a side of guacamole and there was a dessert and I did not eat it, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is dinner tonight. Um, I had to go, oh, bully, you're gonna tell everybody hi. Hi like everybody. Dogs. He likes food. Hello everybody. Okay. Name. So um, we're using these Joseph's uh, pita breads tonight for dinner. I, hubby found them on clearance. I'm sure at some point in time. So one pita is six grams of carbs. But I had salad for lunch, so no biggie there. Um, he put me. Some of this Kroger Colby back, uh, Colby Jack cheese on it. Um, some roast beef that we buy from. Oh, it's ham. It looks like roast beef. Okay, it's ham, y'all. I heated it up. Oh, okay. It's a hot ham and cheese. Uh, ham. We just buy it at Sam's. It's whatever the members brand is. I have a little side of mayonnaise and mustard to go with it, and I'm also having some Quest chips, y'all. That is dinner. Let me know what y'all are having. Oh, Zoe's. Hi. Hi. Are you feeling better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, hi. Bye. Okay. Well, that's dinner, y'all. I forgot to show y'all. I also got this. I got it while I was at Walgreens between work and my parent-teacher meeting tonight. It's made by Bye. And I normally do not love their drinks. Dane loves them. Me, not so much. Yeah, Dane loves this. Of course, he's standing right beside me. Um, this is the Super Tea Super Raspberry tea. flavor. And it was so good, y'all. Um, it was worth the 10 calories and the two carbs. There's five erythritols in it, so we don't have to count those totally worth it and I think the carbs must come from the raspberry juice because it's the only thing in these ingredients that I see would have any so simple ingredients tasty refreshing just a little bit of caffeine in it it tells you that it's like a cup of green tea so that's awesome too loving it